Okay, don't blink. B class Muay Thai, five two minute rounds. Alfie Pierce against Steve Bushel. Pierce, blue trunks, black gloves. Bushel, white gloves, white trunks, green trim. Pierce is on a massive winning streak at the moment. I think he's five, five fights, five wins at the moment. I could be wrong, but he is smashing it. Round one. For him and his corner, seems super hyped about this one. Yeah, he's making waves, this kid. He's one to watch, definitely. There's a few in there under uh, Andy Newell. Great coach. Quality fighter in his day, too. Still got a better six-pack than most of us. This one B-class with elbows, but they'll have pads on. Ooh, first elbow thrown by Pierce. He's doing the heavy lifting in that first clinch, Arpy Pierce. Yeah, Pierce is a good clincher. To be fair, all those guys in there, Jamie Rayner in the corner, quality clincher. Horrible to clinch against. Ooh, lovely. Oh, nice jab from Bushel, timed that well. Pierce is one of those, he's relentless, he just walks you down the whole time. Because he's a good clincher. Oh, beautiful knee. Because when you talk about damage, there have been some lovely jabs by Bushel, but he's not set to really get a lot of power from those jabs. So he lands three of those, then Pierce just comes up, that mi the, up the middle with that knee. And just does so much more damage with that one shot, doesn't it? And, and that is Muay Thai, all, all over in one sentence. It's all about effect and damage. Coming forward, you can get hit with two or three shots. Like that left body kick there from Pierce, it pinged Bushel off to the side. That shows effect. That's a big score. And that's what you've got to remember when you're watching this sport. It's not always work rate. Right. It's about quality, clean shots that show effect. So there, like, Bushel kicking, but on the back foot and falling back as he kicks isn't a big score. See Bushel trying to get that right elbow away, isn't he? But he's not in range to throw it. Incredibly effective, that too, if you can lovely. get there. But Pierce landing, Oy. knees to the ribs. They're damaging shots to Bushel, and then in the clinch as well. Elbows coming now. Watch for the knee. Pierce's knees are horrible. That right knee is wicked. Left hook to the body, right elbow. Pierce stalking again, coming forwards. Oh, and the left hand catches clean as well. Bushel trying to show Willing with single shots, but he's landing the jab, but nothing else. He's looking for the right hook, but he's not in range to throw it. Trying to slow his man down by really turning in on that kick. What an opening round. Tell you one thing, I would not want Pierce in front of me walking me down for five rounds. Here we go. Round two. Bushel coming in with some heavy overhands there. Trying to catch him on the way in, Pierce. Oh, he's going to go for a spinning elbow there, but 
Great knee from Pierce. You see a reddening on the left side of the rib cage of Bushel. As Pierce walks his man down, great overhand right. Oh, that is the knee, man. They're the ones. One of them's a showstopper, I tell you. Watch Cre out for it. Credit to Bushel, because he has taken some knees, isn't he? To the rib cage and that fleshy bit just underneath. And he is. There are none coming back, though. None with that effect. Look at that. Oi. That is horrendous. Pierce is a horrible human being. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oi. Oi. Oh, the elbow is enormous. Oh, beautiful work. He's an animal, man. He is such an animal. Well, Chris Bachelor, I was wondering whether I was going to wave the fight off there because the tight. Well, it's been slowly turning. Now it's a tsunami from Pierce. He's coming forward again. Steve Oi. Bushel up it against the ropes. Elbows, blood. knees, Oi. the left hook as well. Oi. There's the knee. Goes for the spinning elbow. Pierce turned away from it. Now I think he thought he heard the referee say something, but. I think the ref's saying you need to come back with some in the bushel. Pierce's knees are horrid. Look at that. Oi. Oi. One, two, three elbows. Neutral corner, another count. I mean, he's giving Steve Bushel every chance, but you can tell the desperation from Bushel. He's just trying to land that spinning elbow. He knows he needs a showstopper. Oh my God, what a round. <laughs> Third round, five scheduled here. Steve Bushel is going to have to change something if this is going to go the distance because Alfie Pierce is turning on the style here at Fairfield Halls Croydon. It's Alfie Pierce is an absolute beast. This has been a relentless show. These knees are superb from Pierce. It's been an all court performance so far as well, hasn't it? We've seen the full toolkit from Alfie Pierce. Oi. Look at those knees, though. Two eight counts in the last round. Bushel has it all to work for, and he's being pushed back. Pierce is absolutely relentless. Look at those knees. Oi. Oh, and then he beats Bushel to the punch as well. Pushes him back with the yeah, knee. That knee's hurt him. That left knee hurt him. Look, look. Big shots from Pierce. Does Bushel want to be there? He looks to his corner. He's up on his feet, though. Absolute killer, just waiting to go. This is a brave performance from Steve Bushel. Three Steve. eight counts now. I don't know if Steve Bushel wants to be there anymore. I don't know if I'd want to be. But look at this work rate from Pierce. He's going to call it. And another win for the boy wonder. Well, the referee does the right thing. Steve <laughs> Bushel <laughs> was still in there. <laughs> he was still giving it everything, but everything wasn't enough tonight because Alfie Pierce keeps going from strength to strength and this is a fighter Dave Fensum with a big future certainly is there's a corner of killers there though under Andy Newell Jacob Thompson absolute machine Michael Clark Jamie Lee Rayner and now Alfie Pierce making waves three rounds did it in under three rounds ladies and gentlemen There you have it, Alfie Pierce adds another win to the tally.